Oh, hello. Mark Lynn here with your video thought for the day. I'm out of trial. Thank you, Lord. Um, and it gives me a chance to do my twofer. We've got two commandments we got to get done today because I took that interlude yesterday, uh, did a, a video thought for the day on healing. Don't just wait for the healing, but chase the healing. Go for it. Let's be people who heal this world. Um, but go back and listen to that if you haven't listened to it yet. And with any of these messages, forward them to anybody that might uh, be blessed by them. Uh, the goal here is to just share thoughts that help people with life. Now, last two of the Ten Commandments that I haven't talked about yet. Commandment 9 and Commandment 10. Commandment 9 is not to bear false witness. Now, I've been in trial for the last two weeks, and there were a lot of witnesses. Um, some mine, some the other side. I cross-examined, I direct-examined, and, and before every witness took the stand, the judge said to them, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Didn't say, so help you God, but he said, under the penalties of perjury. And I thought, you know, being a witness in that way, a true or a false witness, is not something that you only do when you take an oath. If you're following the instructions of God, you do it all the time. You're a truthful person. And these instructions from God are not arbitrary off-the-wall instructions. They're instructions about how to live as people who are made in God's image. And so we can understand from this that God does not bear false witness. He is 100% reliable. You can go to every promise God gives you in his word, and you can go to the bank on it. You may not have it uh, in the shape that you want it to be in. His promises uh, uh, may not come uh, to fulfillment in the way you envision they should, but he will be faithful. He will keep his word. It's commandment number nine, and we need to be people like that too. As the proverb says, we need to people, be people who keep their word even when it hurts. I mean, anybody can keep their word when it's to their immediate advantage, but when it's gonna cost you, when it's gonna be hard, when it's gonna make for a difficult situation, it's harder to be honest and keep your word. So we need to be that, don't bear false witness. And then number 10, don't covet. And number 10 says don't covet your neighbor's house, don't cover your neighbor's ox, don't cover, covet uh, your neighbor's wife, don't covet anything that's your neighbor's. You know why? Because God wants us to be people who find satisfaction in him. The problem is we have this desire for satisfaction. I mean, it works out for Mick Jagger, June 1965. He releases I can't get no satisfaction. He tries and he tries and he tries. Man comes on the radio, tells him, uh, you know, how his life can be, but he knows that it's not right because that man doesn't smoke the same cigarette, so he can't be cool enough to be telling Mick anything. Or somebody who says how white his shirts can be. Or some girl who won't uh, uh, deliver as Mick wants her to, and so he can't get satisfaction. That drive for satisfaction is in all of us, because we're all seeking a relationship with God. And, and if we covet other things, we're looking in the wrong place. If we're feeding our satisfaction by finding a, a hope or promise of getting what our neighbor has, of keeping up with the Joneses, of finding that trophy wife, of finding that pleasure in life, if that's what we're living and seeking satisfaction in, nothing personal, Mick Jagger, you won't find it because satisfaction only comes in God and a relationship with him. That's what's driving you to seek satisfaction. So don't be above it. As my friend Kevin Parker always said, be above it, don't covet. Uh, it's seek God for your satisfaction in life. So you get two commandments to roll into the weekend. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I hope that it's a weekend where you keep your word, even if it hurts. You don't bear false witness. People know you to be a person of truth and honesty and that you find your satisfaction in this life in God and a relationship with him. 
That's Mark Lanier. It's your video thought for the day.